Okay, so a snowy morning. Uh, one of the advantages of using oxyacetylene, you don't have to wear the full mask, just the goggles, and that uh, improves your vision. We've got the OT tip in the Henrop torch. Untangle things a little bit. So we're going to weld on um, one of the tri clamps onto the conical, the base one. And we've got our plywood here held by the three three eighths inch bolt. It's got another plywood piece on the inside, so you'll see that catch fire. Um, first step, we've got some 308 uh, 1 16 inch welding rod. We've got uh, the Henrob torch. We're going to use a slightly carburizing flame for this because we are using stainless. And we're going to try to put most of the heat onto uh, the tri clamp. We need to switch back to a smaller uh, tip. Rotator setup, you got it just on a sacrificial uh, work mate. Plywood is starting to smoke, so it uh, won't be too long before she goes. Yeah, I think what I'll do is uh, Pop this off. This should give you an idea of the welds that I have here. These are some of the final ones on uh, on the conical. If I welded every day, it'd be a whole lot better. So now that things are tacked in place, I'll go finish it up and show you uh, the end product. Okay, so here's the result. You can see there's a couple spots where uh, I burnt through. There and there. I'll have to go put on the odd tip. I have the number one tip on right now. But uh want the less heat when you're dealing with that thin sheet steel from uh, just the regular pans and pots. So that's uh, the progress so far. So if you're interested, Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll uh, keep you abreast of what I'm doing and how it works out.